Right, this one combines the technology or, or the maths of understanding how exponentials work combined with understanding how negative numbers work. We know that minus 1 squared means minus 1 multiplied by itself twice. But we also know that a minus times a minus is a minus. It's a plus, sorry. A minus, 1 minus times 1 minus will give us a plus. So the answer will be 1. What about minus 1 cubed then? Well, that means minus 1 times minus 1 times minus 1. We know that minus 1 times minus 1 will give us a plus. So what we're actually going to get here is we're going to get plus 1 multiplied by minus 1. Now we have a plus times a minus, which is going to give us minus 1 as our answer. What about minus 1 to the power 4? Well, minus 1 times minus 1 is going to give us a plus 1. And a minus 1 times another minus 1 here is going to give us plus 1. So we're going to get plus 1 times plus 1 going to give us plus 1. So what's going to happen next time around then? You're starting to see the trend now. Minus 1 times minus 1 is going to give us a plus 1. Here we have another pair of minus 1 times minus 1s, which is going to give us a plus 1, multiplied by our little last one. So a plus times a plus will give us a plus. But at the end here, we have a minus. 1 times 1 will give us 1, but the resulting plus 1 times minus 1 will give us a minus 1. So you should start to see a trend that whenever the number up here is even, the answer will be positive. And whenever the number up here is odd, there's always going to be a minus 1 at the end that we have to multiply by, turning our answer into negative. So I'd expect minus 1 to the power of 6 to be positive. Let's have a look. Minus 1 times minus 1 is positive. Minus 1 times minus 1 is positive. Minus 1 times minus 1 is positive, giving us three one positive 1s multiplied by each other. Plus 1 times plus 1 times plus 1, the answer is going to be plus 1. Here we have two negative 1s giving us a positive, multiplied by two negative 1s giving us a positive, multiplied by two negative 1s giving us a positive. When we multiply all these positives together, we're going to get positive, but there's always going to be, if there's an odd number up here, there's going to be a final number that's going to be negative, turning our answer into negative. So even numbers at the power, the answer will always be positive. Negative numbers to an odd number at the power, the answer will always be negative. And that's an important skill to remember.